All right, let's talk to our next guest. Our next guest um, did a did a magnificent job for the majority of the postseason for the Phillies this year. Of course, he's had a uh, a really terrific career for the Phillies, and now with the news uh, over the weekend, has uh, locked up for another seven years. An incredible total of one hundred and seventy two million dollars. He's given us a lot of thrills the last couple of years. We're hoping, obviously, for more for the years to come. Hoping for a World Series championship someday. And we welcome one of the two <laughs> Phillies ace pitchers. Aaron Nola. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, guys. Thanks for having me on this uh, morning. You bet, Aaron. Aaron, our pleasure. Look, let's start with this. Congratulations, and tell us what it feels like, because none of us know what it feels like. You get to sign with the team you wanted to sign with, and as like a little added bonus, you get a, a guaranteed $172 million. What's that feeling like? It feels great. I think the best feeling is that knowing that nothing's going to change too much and that we don't have to move to a place we don't really know. Mm-hmm. So uh, we know we know the city of Philadelphia and around it. We know uh, uh, Clearwater and uh, be able to get to go to the complex I, um, in the off season. So I think that's the coolest thing, uh, just because we got a little girl on the way, and I think that makes it a lot easier for us. Good for you, Aaron. Hey, Aaron, I'm wondering, you know, a negotiation like this. <clears throat> The balancing act. I mean, you you knew you wanted to stay here. You knew they probably knew that. But you don't want to tip your hand too much because, you know, you don't want to devalue yourself. You don't want to lose leverage. How did you and your agent sort of balance that tricky reality? I want to be here, but I don't want them to totally know it. How do you balance that in a negotiation? Well, I just think that it's part of free agency, right? It's uh, it's the business of it. I've never been in free agencies. Uh, Of course, my first one. And of course, I've been with the Phillies my whole career, and um, it's the only place I've known. So it was definitely different going into free agency uh, for those for those couple weeks and um, just kind of exploring and, I guess, not being a Philly technically uh, after that last game. It was kind of weird. But, you know, I just kind of kind of talked around, and um, I, we're just glad we got the deal done uh, and done early. Um, obviously this is the place I wanted to be and um, I feel like I have a special relationship with the organization just because I've made so many uh, good relationships here and good memories so far and um, we're so close to making that step to to win a World Series and everybody in that clubhouse wants to win so um, we're right there and we have a pretty much similar group of guys and probably some better additions coming in this, this year so I wanted to stay with this team and try to win one with these guys. Aaron, how much did those guys, you know, the group of guys here play into your decision to stay? Yeah, I think there's a few things that played into it, but yeah, that guys definitely played into it. I mean, I wouldn't be in this position without my teammates, uh, the coaches and a lot of people in the organization um, helped me out along the way. But the team wise, the camaraderie, the chemistry that we have, that we, we have had, it's important. It plays a big part. Um, uh, it played a big part of my decision to come back here, and it plays a big part of decisions other guys signing here as well. So, I mean, having a good team, having uh, having a good team one is important, but having guys that you enjoy being around with and enjoy sure. um, going to battle with every day, it's, it, it's way more enjoyable. It's being reported that you you left money on the table to stay in Philadelphia. What more can you tell us about that? Um, yeah, I just didn't. I didn't feel like we. I didn't. I didn't really want to prolong the process um, a lot. Obviously, I wanted to get get something done early um, because we thought it was important for our family too. Um, but it's not really about the highest dollar for me uh, for for our family, um, rather than it being a, an importance of being somewhere that we're comfortable and some that we're, some place that we're going to enjoy for the next seven years. Right. Sure. You, you got, it's not just, you're going for a couple of years, one or two or three years, you got another seven years in a place where you want to enjoy it a lot. So Philadelphia is a place I enjoy. Aaron Nola here on WIP. You know, Aaron, as, as you transition from the negotiation to now the off season and, you know, reflecting back on what was and looking ahead to what will be, I'm, I'm curious, your October <laughs> performance, um, masterful in three starts, just unbelievable. And then obviously much less effective in the fourth outing game six of the NLCS. How do you reconcile in your mind this off season that got to be a strange dichotomy. And on one hand, you got to be so proud of what you did in those first three, 
The fourth has to be a massive disappointment. How do you balance that as you then move forward to next year and what you hope will be, you know, an even longer postseason run? Man, I mean, it's a tough loss, of course. Um, but I try to take the positives out of it, right? We get we get to the NLCS. Obviously, it was hard. But postseason baseball is tough. And to get to the World Series last year and then this past year get to the NLCS, it's a pretty good accomplishment. Obviously, we come up short and you know, it was a tough loss and we want to get to that World Series. But we got to keep competing and, and keep playing our game and try to get to that position again. And we all believe that we can. Uh, we have the team to do it. We have the guys to do it. Um, and we have the city to do it. Um, but I just try to take the positives away and um, look at what we did all year. Um, but I mean, the first step going into this year is to try to win the division this year. Um, obviously, got to got to get past the Braves with that because they've won the division quite quite a few times the past several years. But I mean, you take it step by step, and uh, we had a really good year. Obviously, some ups and downs, but um, we got to the, to that NLCS, and uh, we just got to make that that step again to get back to the World Series. Aaron, how t- I mean, this is a hypothetical, but it, it, how tough would it have been for you to put a Braves uniform on? <laughs> I mean, I think any uniform it would have been super different. It would have felt felt weird for a little while. Um, just because I spent about nine years over in Philadelphia. Uh, that's all I know. I mean, right. I'm just glad I'm back and I get to spend probably the rest of my career here. Um, I feel like in today's age, you don't see that too much, but I'm very blessed to be able to do that. Aaron, I, I always wonder this. Uh, are you allowed to throw snowballs? Uh, you know, like, do, do you look forward to the ability to just like pick anything and anyone off that you so choose like you could just it's almost like a superpower like you grab a hunk (laughs) of ice off the ground and you can i'm assuming that you can just tag whatever you want on whatever your target is correct Uh, i I guess but i'm not around that much (laughs) well that's true around here though you can grab it and and use it what what about like throwing the the balled up paper in the trash can do you always make it no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Well, I, I'm assuming you're better than I, think, I am. That's for sure. I think. I think the more, uh, more of that kind of stuff I get is somebody throws me something and I miss it, and they always say, "Oh, well, good thing you're a pitcher." So that's the good old <laughs> sure. fashioned go-to uh-huh. joke for everybody. <laughs> right. Aaron Ola here. You know, Aaron, the regular season obviously was below your typical standard, uh, pretty significantly below. And, and we we saw and and heard you talk about the late season mechanical adjustments. Do you believe? that those adjustments will propel you into a much better regular season next year? I mean, I'm sure your agent was saying that to the Phillies in the negotiation. Do you believe it'll be a far different regular season for you next year? Yeah, man, I really hope so. Yeah, uh, late in the season, I felt really good. Um, made a couple couple tweaks of the mechanics and tried to simplify it a little bit more, and I can see the ball um, on both sides of the play when I, when I released it, which – I'm a, I'm a field pitcher. I'm a, a C pitcher where I have to see the ball uh, all the way to the plate just because I'm not a guy who has high velocity and tries to blow a body. So once I was able to do that, um, it changed a couple of things for me. It changed um, you know, my velocity ticked up a little bit every now and again, and it was I was able to throw my change up a lot more, more consistently, which – I really didn't have that as consistently as I usually do during the regular season, and that's a, a weapon for me. Uh, and as a starting pitcher, having three pitches is important. Uh, being able to throw at least three pitches off for strikes is very important. And uh, when you don't have that and you have to throw two, it's a little bit tougher. Yeah. But, yeah, hope, hopefully that um, that plays out in the, this regular season coming up. And obviously I'm going to work on that and get with uh, Caleb uh, this off season and um, spring training a lot to hone in on those things again, and that's a good thing about coming back. I know, I know all the coaches staff uh, worked with Kayla for the past few years. Um, we have a lot of things written down, and um, oh so yeah, we're de- I'm definitely looking forward to that part. So you know, and Aaron, you probably cover this in part with what you just said, but I'm curious: a, a pitcher like Max Scherzer or Justin Verlander, who just just kicked ass in their 30s. 
do you look at guys like that and say, all right, let me figure out what they did. Granted, different types of pitchers, you know, but let me figure out guys who sailed through their 30s, figure out what they did and try to emulate that so you can have your 30s be, you know, like your 20s have been? Yeah, those guys are those guys are uh, pretty amazing. They, they're Hall of Famers, and I feel like they've gotten better the older they've gotten, which is the max that uh, Charlie Morton sticks out to me as well. Um, but, yeah, definitely I think staying healthy is a big part of all that. Um, because you can't you can't even get close to those guys what they do it unless you stay healthy um and i think that's the biggest part of once you once you hit 30 and later in your career um uh, i start getting injured a little bit more so i'm gonna do everything i can to stay healthy and do you get um, proactive with that aaron do you keep things the same or do you actually get more aggressive with trying to stem things before they get started uh not really um, I don't try to do anything out of the ordinary. I just, just kind of stick with a lot of stuff that I've done yeah. uh, the whole career. Um, there, I definitely change a couple things up just because um, I've gone through that routine stuff early in my career before I got hurt, like doing the same stuff over and over again. It gets boring. <laughs> I think when you're when you're in a 162-game season and you're traveling a lot, uh, you're going to the field every day. I want to enjoy it. So I do things that I enjoy now. Um, obviously with, uh, with, uh, you know, education of, of my body and all our trainers and communication, uh, that plays a huge part, but figuring out things that I enjoy, uh, when I get to the field, throwing, set throwing, working out, um, a different type of working out, a different type of throwing that day. Uh, if I enjoy it, that's what makes, it a lot easier for me. Aaron Nola here on WIP, the longtime uh, Phillies pitcher, and of course, big time commitment from the Phillies to, to Aaron for a number of years to come with the new contract. You know, Aaron, I'm curious, um, and I know you know this. Some of the best athletes in the history of Philadelphia sports have been some of the most criticized. Um, Donovan McNabb comes to mind. Mike Schmidt certainly comes to mind. You have been criticized at times for being very good, but people say, "Yeah," but in the end, you know, it didn't go all the way. Does that criticism, when you hear it, does it sting you? Um, well, I feel like a lot of it comes from social media. I don't even get on social media, uh, so I don't read any of that stuff. But I think it comes from you know them seeing us a lot, right? I mean, we've been here uh, quite some time, and those guys that you mentioned were here for a little while, too. That's right. Yeah. And it's not like a guy that comes here for one, two, three, four years. Um, like I've been here for eight, nine years and going to be here for the next seven. So they see a lot of you. So they see your ups and downs and your struggles and your successes, um, your inconsistencies and your consistencies. So uh, they expect a lot out of you. And uh, of course we expect a lot out of ourselves. Um, but for myself, it's, it's telling myself it's a reality of baseball, right? you're going to, you're going to win a lot. You're going to lose a lot. You're going to, you're going to have ups and downs. Um, but for me to, to to learn from those those downs and to try to plug those in to make the ups better uh, is important and sticking with the process of uh, enjoying that part of it um, playing hard with my teammates and you know playing for my teammates and trying to just win the baseball game I think that is very important for me and uh, that's what I try to do every time I get out on them. Aaron Nola here with us. Aaron, I want to play some audio for you. I, I believe you have heard this before, but I want to see if you can confirm that to us. During the postseason, our guy, Joe Conklin, put together a song that honored you and what you were doing there. I want to play a small snippet of it and then get your reaction. We won't let him get away Cause we need him for sure He won't All right, that obviously the the Lola song uh, from the Kings. All right, so Aaron, did you hear it in October? And if so, how did it make you feel when you first heard that? <laughs> well, first of all, I didn't know what you were playing because I never heard that first part of the song, <laughs> but I heard the last part. <laughs> my uh. I think my mom sent it to my wife and I, and my wife showed it to me. And uh, 
she kept singing it to me and it got stuck in my head for so long. You know, like I gotta get this song stuck out of my head. <laughs> you got your own song. So awesome. did, did anyone catch you singing Nola? <laughs> That'd be a little arrogant. <laughs> yeah. No, besides my wife, I was around the house. I would sing it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That awesome. Is great. Aaron, final thing here for you. Um, the new contract in hand, the team's success the last two years, obviously we know what that's been. The quest for the world championship is, is real. Does it, does it make you look forward to spring training more knowing that you have a team with a legitimate world series chance than let's say five years ago when, you know, let's be real 500 for the team was a Mm -hmm. maybe, a maybe 500. Do you look forward to spring training more when you know you can win the title? Without a doubt. Without a doubt. I've been through, as y'all know, I've been through the rebuilding era with these guys, with the Phillies, uh, all the way up until the team that we are now, that we've been the past couple years. And to walk in that clubhouse in spring training and see the guys that you made made it to the World Series with, made it to the NLCS with, uh, everybody's got that one thing on their mind and you know it and we know that we can we can pull it out um obviously hopefully this this coming season but it's definitely a different approach when we, i walk into the clubhouse now than i used to so it, it makes it a lot more fun uh, everybody's goal is one goal because they believe that that we can get back to their get that get back to that position and, and put a ring on our fingers Aaron, congratulations on the deal. The thrills you gave, obviously, so many millions here in the area uh, this past season, particularly in October. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in spring training and next season back here in Philadelphia. Thanks, Aaron. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Hey, happy th- Thanks for having me. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well, to happy you and your family. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving Aaron. to you all, too. Thank you. All right, Great thank you. Bye. There he is, Philly's pitcher, Aaron Nola.